Unmute. Okay. Yeah. You're up. Okay. Thank you so much, Kevin. Uh, let me I get to the sharing. Uh, I need to share the screen. Okay. Share sound. Uh, do you see my desktop? Yes. Okay, yeah. I think that the, uh, I got a, uh, a few topics to, uh, to talk. So let me just get, uh, get through the uh, screens uh, quickly. Show. Start show. Okay, yeah. Uh, this is the uh, JE46.23. Okay. And uh, let me just skip all this, uh, this garbage. Uh, as a slight improvement uh, from JE46.13, I fixed a few bugs in the array command and I also test out the turnkey system uh, because I have a, mm, a good dump command, which will dump uh, the dictionary. Uh, and the dictionary can be copied back to the, J, uh, J, uh, to, to the Java script. And then the next time you turn it on, it will uh, execute with all the added commands. And I also explore the G, uh, GUI uh, with Mandelbrot, <coughs> ETMF, Interactive Globe, and the karaoke uh, I showed it last time. So I, I have a new uh, web page design. Uh, I have the, uh, this is the input box, and here is the output box, and then my logo, and I want to uh, get the, uh, Canvas bigger uh, in the 1.6.13. The canvas is a 100 by 100 pixel. Now I have a 200 by 200 pixel. So it's a, I just want to experiment with the canvas more. So this is a much more convenient uh, setup. And when you execute, when you press the in, input uh, box. Uh, the little demo gets executed and then it uh, uh, plays the characters. Uh, it uses canvas as an output screen. So I just rewrote that quote instead of uh, putting characters in, on the, in the output box, it sends out the characters to the canvas. Okay, then I, uh, 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 put in some demo programs uh, in the, what I call the, the uh, haiku.txt. Uh, this to demonstrate how I use the uh, canvas. Okay, one of the uh, test cases is uh, Mandelbrot. And that, that this is taken from the uh, uh, Brad Nelson's uh, uh, website, the haiku website. So I was uh, pretty good, uh, pretty happy with this uh, display. But this, uh, to calculate the Mandelbrot, it took about a couple of seconds. So it's not totally interactive. Uh, so there's a Chinese word game there. If I do the clear yellow and dice, 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 I got this, uh, uh, this uh, the output for the uh, Chinese point from that game. So this is what the, the 6.23 does. And I also have a <laughs> DTF uh, example uh, tucked in, dual tone multi frequency dial tones. It is a really a trivial, a trivial application uh, with JE4 because the JE4 
can generate six, uh, it has a six tone generators and I only need two for the dial tone. Okay, so the JavaScript gives us the idea environment for JE4. JE4 is a fourth platform of zero cost since PC is ubiquitous. We can explore graphic user interface freely. And I think uh, JE4 really captures the essence of fourth. Okay, so this is the uh, one topic I uh, have. And the next one, uh, let me see. Let me, uh, The next one is the uh, Mandelbrot plot. So you, <coughs> the, let me see. Show. <coughs> the Mandelbrot, I've coded the, the, the uh, fractals uh, many, many times. Uh, first time with the F83 and then FPC and then uh, uh, F sharp. It was slow and the keyboard interface was clumsy, uh, but the things changed with JavaScript, which has a fast uh, virtual machine and a convenient uh, GUI. So I uh, look up the Mandelbrot set on the, uh, on the web and found this uh, very nice uh, uh, implementation in JavaScript. I moved the code into uh, JE4.23 uh, and explored the mouse interface. So I basically overlapped the input box, output box and the canvas uh, in three layers on top of one another. Input box is in the white letters, output box in the yellow letters and canvas layers on the top because uh, the image has to respond to mouse clicks. So if you double click on the uh, <coughs> Mendel HTML, you get the startup screen. To the left, you have uh, uh, JE4 sign on. In yellow letters, the input box shows the instructions in white letters. So this is the, uh, the sign up screen, start up. You have uh, JE4 output there, input there. I'm, not, I'm just using the input as the, uh, <coughs> to display some uh, instructions. So you click the uh, cursor in the middle and you get the initial manual block set and X, Y coordinate and zoom factor are always shown in the top left in yellow characters. This is a very nice picture. You have the uh, coordinates and the zoom factor and this thing, <coughs> uh, it doesn't matter. It, it's, uh, it's just there. So the menu bar, the, I think that uh, the navigate, navigation is very interesting. Uh, you click the left mouse button anywhere to center this, uh, the, the display. And if you move the wheel forward, uh, the display gets expanded. If you move the wheel backward, the display is shrink. Uh, you click the right, uh, right button, resets the display to its original size. So you can just uh, click, 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 click and get a lot of uh, uh, a lot of interesting patterns. The coloring of the set is also kind of interesting. I just say the number of iteration is used to uh, decide the, uh, the color. And I only use the least, uh, the three least significant digits of iteration uh, to determine the color. Uh, bit zero for, for red, bit one for green and bit two for blue. Very simple. And you can see the, uh, the color line up, black, red, and uh, green, 
and yellow, shine, uh, I, mean, I mean, the blue, sign, and uh, oh, and the, the violet, okay. And they just line up uh, nicely. So X coordinate, they're always shown uh, in yellow color, uh, yellow characters. Input box always shows mouse instruction. And the interesting thing is that the, if you type anything here, it gets executed. So fourth is still active here. And it, it, it output uh, always shown up here. So when the zoom vector reaches, uh, well, almost a billion, then the fractal breaks up because the round off arrow. And if you get to that point, it's time to click, uh, uh, right click the mouse to return to the original display. So this is, uh, uh, you can see the pixels are broken up. Get back to the mental broad. Okay, I think uh, the, uh, the um, now <coughs> the uh, Java script is fast enough and this thing is very interactive. And the mouse control is very smooth. And I think that's how computers should work. Okay, let me see, get out of this one. And uh, the, another, the digital globe, okay. Yeah, the digital globe, I also uh, start running it uh, about uh, uh, year 2000 when uh, I found the digital globe uh, source code. I mean, uh, the digital data, digital, it's a digital chart of the world. <coughs> it has the uh, all the elevation data of the whole world uh, in uh, 31 files, okay? Uh, let me just skip on, yeah, th this is the, uh, the data, uh, how, how the data file are uh, arranged. So you, you got the blocks of the data. Uh, these are basically 16-bit elevation data over the an area on the uh, face of the earth. So uh, these 33 DM data files are combined into a single 1.8 gigabyte file. And the data are organized in two uh, <clears throat> 21,600 rows and 43,200 columns. Elevation are 16 bit numbers from minus four, 400 uh, uh, meters to uh, almost 9,000 meters. Okay, so the, I wanted to build an interactive globe so you can click anywhere in the center, that uh, spot on earth is centered on the screen. And then if you move the, uh, move the wheel, it will expand or contract or come and you can navigate uh, very smoothly uh, through the whole world. Okay, uh, the problem is that the, the, I have to load a huge 1.8 uh, gigabyte data file before uh, I can run anything. So it takes a, a minute to load it. And once it's loaded, you click on the uh, <coughs> the screen and you get the globe. And you can na navigate anywhere by uh, clicking on any point uh, on earth. And then use the, uh, use the wheel to zoom in or zoom out. So this is a nice digital USA. And this is a digital San Francisco Bay. Okay, you can see the San, San Francisco Bay, Silicon Valley, and even to the Sierra. Okay, back to the uh, digital globe. And I think it, you don't need the polar coordinate, the coloring, 
just use the uh, three uh, least significant bit to, oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, this, uh, the elevation needs to be code encoded properly uh, so that it uh, look like a regular map. Okay, <laughs> since I have all the data arranged this way, so I was uh, making another program called Digital Word, which will just display uh, the whole <laughs> flat earth. And JavaScript is fast enough to display the globe quickly. Layered JE4 web pages useful for interactive games. Navigating the globe with the mouse and wheel is very satisfying, especially when the uh, when the JavaScript is fast enough to provide all the images interactively. Thank you very much. Uh, let me see. Let me try to do a demo. Uh, let me see if I can do it. Uh, so you just dub, double click on this one. Okay, you got, we got a sign up screen and we have to choose the, choose a file. Okay. Oh boy, where is my file? I think, uh, let me see the J fourth and the word. Okay, here, here we are. So I would open it and it will take a minute to, <coughs> to download. I don't fully understand it. The, uh, and uh, you know, the JavaScript is running. I don't know uh, well the JavaScript is running. It looks like the, it's running uh, on the, uh, the Google website. So it has to read this huge data file uh, through the web into the server. And then it's the server which is doing all the calculations, and it's a so it would take a, a minute to upload this 1.8 gigabyte data file, and I uh, okay yeah it's done, so you can see it uh, echoes it has read. 1.8 gigabytes of data. Okay, click this one. And I hope this will work. The first image takes a couple of seconds. Hey, computer, do your work. <laughs> it may not work. I think uh, it worked quite smoothly on my computer. But uh, but th this this computer is not. Uh, uh, let me just try to get out. Stop sharing. Stop sharing. Okay, I think the. Uh, Okay. All right, I, I'm sorry. Uh, the demo doesn't work, uh, but uh, it worked quite uh, very well on my computer. So let me, uh, any questions? <laughs> I, I just want to say that was really cool. I think I found the link for JE4th and posted in the chat and uh, okay. 
Yeah, yeah, that, that's right. Um, that, uh, let, me, let me just try to, uh, to pull out the link. Okay. All right. But the first couple of demos threw an error for me when I ran it. So uh, just something to look at. Yeah, I, I think you can, yeah, to everyone. Okay, so paste. So uh, all these uh, four, uh, I think I uh, paste up all the, uh, all the, uh, all the uh, code there. So you hope you guys can just uh, download it and play it yourself, okay. Yeah, sorry about the demo. It's it's always that way. It works at uh, <clears throat> on my computer, but th this new computer, I have a problem with the internet, and uh, so it doesn't always work. Thank you very much, Thank you, Dr. Ting. Uh, yes, always uh, interesting stuff. Uh, 